Hey guys, so Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition just got announced, and this is coming to the Nintendo Switch next year. And this is a pretty big deal. I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles X, if you've not played it, it's one of my favorite Wii U games. And I know there's there's not a lot of quali high quality Wii U titles out there, but for RPGs, uh, you can't really go better than Xenoblade Chronicles X, in my opinion. It is kind of like an open world RPG, very exploration heavy. You know, the Xenoblade series since X released has had two more games, so they've released two and three now, and those games have gone in, in a complete different direction than Xenoblade Chronicles X. But out of the Xenoblade series, you know, I've always had a lot of appreciation for uh, uh, X. I actually think it might be, uh, it probably might even be tied with one as to be my favorite in the series. Um, granted, I've not actually played Xenoblade 3 yet. I know, I know, don't get mad at me. Hey. I'm just I'm going to be honest here, guys. I haven't gotten around to it because there's been so many freaking RPGs and they're all like 60, 100 hours plus or whatever. Um, maybe next year we'll get around to Xenoblade 3. Uh, maybe I should play it before I jump into X. I, I definitely want to check out X. I'm not sure if that's a game that I'll stream on the channel. But um, anyway, um, yeah, what, what am I saying here? Xenoblade Chronicles X and 1, uh, both kind of being tied with my favorite here. But for different reasons, uh, they're very different games. And if you've played uh, Xenoblade 1, 2, or 3, and you haven't played X yet because it was stuck on the Wii U, and maybe you're not a... Maybe you're a Xenoblade fan, but you don't like certain things about it. Uh, X is a very different styled game than the other games in the franchise. Um, uh, where it's with, with games like 1 and 2, and I'd have to imagine with 3, they're very like story-centric RPGs. They're very heavy with the JRPG tropes of friendship and overpowering evil and stuff like that. And that's not to say that that doesn't come up in Xenoblade Chronicles X, but I'm just saying... Uh, with those games, they might have a lot of similarities to like a shonen anime, especially with uh, like Xenoblade 2 really went a little too heavy on the shonen stuff, in my opinion. Maybe part of the reason why I put off playing 3 for so long. But um, with X, it's more about you create your custom character. They are a silent protagonist. You can recruit different party members to, to join you. They all have different quest lines that you can go down. And a big part of the game is it, it feels like the, the the focus is more on exploration, uh, more so, as in like this is the truly the only open world Xenoblade game, as the other ones are more open open I guess what what would you call it? like an open zone kind of deal right with like several connected zones it gives the feeling of an open world kind of game but with Xenoblade Chronicles X you've got the hub town and uh, from there you can branch out and go around to different continents and you start out on foot but as you can see in the picture right there eventually you'll get one of these big ass gundam things uh, they call them skells in the xenoblade uh x universe and um as you get uh these giant robots you know uh, uh, initially it starts out like a kind of like a like a fast car kind of transportation and as you gain access towards flight you might be able to access different areas that you couldn't before you can reach different continents and like i'm saying it's just a, it, it's a different vibe entirely than uh, i feel like xenoblade one and two had at, and again i've not played three but I'll, I'll i will i will um but yeah so what's what's up with xenoblade chronicles x here so from nintendo themselves a uh, digital physical, both coming out on the 20th, uh, March 20th of next year at $60. Nice to see they're not going for the 70 on a uh, remaster here. And that's good to see. Rebuild humanity on the mysterious planet of Mira in this action RPG. The year is 2054. Earth has been destroyed by an intergalactic war between two alien races and humanity is on the brink of annihilation. A small number of survivors aboard the USS White Whale crash land on the vast and untamed planet Mira. And now it's all up to you as a member of Blade. Uh, to, yeah, that's coming back to me. Uh, to help bring humanity uh, back from the edge of extinction with the aid of powerful giant robots called Skells. So this visually enhanced edition of the open world RPG contains newly added story elements and more. Now, I'm curious to see what more means, right? Are we going to have additional, maybe we'll have more stuff with the skills. Maybe they'll have maybe new types of uh, additions to the combat. But I think what everybody that's played Xenoblade X before is thinking here 
is what are they going to do about that ending? Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers, obviously, but if you played Xenoblade Chronicles X, you might remember that it kind of ends on, um, what would you call it, a little bit of a cliffhanger kind of ending. Okay, I'm not going to say too much outside of that, but it definitely left a lot of room for expansion in the story. And a lot of us were thinking maybe at some point we would see a Xenoblade Chronicles X2. Maybe they're going to add some story stuff to tie into a future Xenoblade Chronicles X2 that we might see down the line, or maybe it might tie into uh xenoblade 3 and connect it to the other games as because as far as i'm aware um xenoblade 1 2 and 3 have all been connected even though they're very kind of loosely related games they've all been connected um through the story dlc of xenoblade 3 so maybe they're gonna tie it all back together i don't know i'm just kind of talking out of my ass here um, but anyway, I'm very excited for uh, I'm very excited for Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition. Uh, are you guys going to be checking this one out? Let me know in the comments if you guys are Xenoblade fans. I'm a pretty big Xenoblade fan, um, and maybe I'll stream one of the games on here at some point. I definitely wouldn't be opposed to the idea. It's just they're very long games. That's kind of as I said. That's kind of why I've put off playing three until this point. Um, uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Uh, guys, if you do make it to the end of the video, I would like it if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button. And if, if you're new here, uh, why don't you subscribe too? That'd be cool. But anyway, I'll see you guys later.